I've always had premonitions. Deja vu, a constant in my life. I should have seen this coming. It really is so clear it would happen to me. I forgot his face. He swooped in, crept knobby fingers along my waist, asked for a repeat. I found his voice. I remember his voice, my hands doubling over on themselves, arms wobbly, intoxicated, like the inability to fight in a blood red dream, pushing him away. And them, treating my body like origami, folding me into myself. A crane into a frog position, butterfly into a dog. I can't imagine being no. Nobody cares to know your name. It really is my fault though. I should have known. I should have hid when I got too drunk and wanted to sleep, knowing that this body taunts, mocking, a challenge for worthy contestants, the body a conquest for those who deny my peace. I am a good girl because I don't want it. They are good men because they can take it, force it, spit on it, never kiss it, tear it, beat it, because fear makes a pussy tighter. Tighten like a fist, an attempt to be anything but this. I heard in a poem once, Seven years makes a body new, one that hasn't been touched by you, by them, by any of you, one that's healed beyond the shadow of knobby fingers and foggy faces and familiar ones too, ones that's healed beyond speeches convincing me to spread my definitions thin and short of pleasure and integrity, and it might have been, but even men offering love and protection have a talent for bumping into my scabs with sharp corners and rusty zippers. Wait, stop become gentle suggestions, playful even. This body becomes a coffin when I'm reminded I think men prefer dead girls the way they hope to break us. And if I pretend to hate to love it or love to hate it, maybe they'll nut quicker and I can move on, revolving seven years where my body is my own. And scabs become scars, ever present but distant, out of mind, like a birthmark, divine assignment, Eve, the night before the fall of utopia? Punishment, a world seeking to strip and suck life from apple juice lips, clutch hard and fast to remind we have no backbone, only the pliable need apply hips and tits, pussy and assholes. I suppose it's all right that I've suffered. Honestly, we do it so well. Black, queer, gender fluid, but female assigned at birth, under 30, over 18, they call me prime rib. In argument with man, he said, if you walk into a busy street, you get hit by a car. Women need to dress how they want to be addressed. Road is a place for cars. Is my body a place for men? I've suffered, remained beautiful and lovely and strong despite it, read tantalizing, taunting, mocking, a conquest for worthy contestants. Is it worth asking men to stop? Isn't that only part of the game? <laughs>